Hello and welcome to Some Boy Online. Now today I'm on a bit of a, a bit of a location thing, as you might have noticed, as we're here in Newcastle for the event of the Fennec Shop Window, which you can see behind me. The Fennec Shop Window entails different things every year. They have a different theme. This year they've collabed with none other than Ardman Animations, and we've got Sean the Sheep. This is quite cool. Obviously, the creators of Wallace and Gromit, which have been a focus of the channel. So here it is, and we're going to have a closer look for you all to see. It's cool for once to be actually right next to something like this. Um, you know, something local, right on the doorstep, as opposed to down south. So, here we go. Cue up! So for anyone who doesn't know, Phoenix is basically a large retail shop in the UK. Uh, they sell all kinds of stuff, just one of those really big shops. It happens to have this long window, there's um, seven different window sections that go along. And every Christmas time since 1971, there's been a different theme display in these windows that has drawn the attention of the public over the years. And now it's became this tradition in the northeast of England to go and see the Fennec window. Obviously the reason I'm covering this is that they've collaborated with Ardman Animations. This is to coincide with the release of Shaun the Sheep, The Flight Before Christmas, which premieres on BBC One and Netflix on Christmas Day. But for context, these are life-size Shaun the Sheep models. They're the size you'd imagine them to be against normal humans, they're not little models. As you can hopefully see in the footage when you've got people walking past, they're pretty big. And upon getting closer to them, you can see the lovely wool detail and stuff like that. These are assumedly made, at least partly, by Ardman themselves, because the materials appear to be the exact same. And you've got some of the soundtrack from the new special, which plays on loop over the top. So yeah, at a certain point of the night, there is literally like barriers around this thing and there's a queue going back and forth you know of people of all ages really but a lot of children earlier on all lining up to see this window and the way that it works is you start at the left and make your way along the seven windows and each one shows a scene and on the window itself there's written like a sentence that summarizes what's happening so by the end you get a very basic story now, in this instance, I assume it's a heavily simplified version of Shaun the Sheep, The Flight Before Christmas. Just going off some of the props and settings that we see here, they seem similar to the one trailer that's been released for that. And obviously it makes sense to promote the special. So obviously because this display is not available to a wide audience at all because it's just in this one area, what I'm going to do is narrate the brief story that's told throughout these windows along with showing you the imagery that we can see, which hopefully gives you as close of an experience as you would have visiting the window itself. But if you do live locally, I highly suggest going and taking a look. It's just really nice to see. Oh, and I forgot to mention these are animatronics too. But with animatronics come some inevitable malfunctions. In this instance, not as bad as FNAF, but it does create some quite humorous scenarios. Like one of Sean's eyes is broken here, so they just point in the opposite direction and make him look derpy as hell. After visiting, I discovered that some other parts, like Bitzer and this sleigh, were meant to move as well, but they just weren't when I was there. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, a few issues in regards to the animatronics. But hopefully it'll get them fixed up and, you know, good on them for trying. Out of all the windows that Phoenix done over the years, people seem to agree that this is the most ambitious one. So, without further ado, grab a hot chocolate and sit next to a roasting fire and I'll read out this uh, nice, chill Christmas story in the most audiobook sounding voice that I can. Twas the night before Christmas. Nah, it doesn't start like that, I'm just joking. Sean and the flock are decorating the barn, but Sean is not quite so joyful. Could his stocking be any smaller? Sean is looking for bigger stockings, but has to quickly disguise himself in wrapping paper to hide from the farmer, while Timmy hides in the gift box. The farmer and Bitzer are off to the Christmas market in his van, loaded up with presents, including Timmy. Farmer Christmas... <laughs> Can I just stop there? I absolutely love that wordplay there. Farmer Christmas is settled in the grotto at the Christmas market, while Sean and the flock try to rescue Timmy. 
The flock ride the sleigh through the snowy fields, in the hope they can get Timmy back to Mossy Bottom Farm in time for Christmas. The sheep disguise themselves as carol singers to distract the manor owners, while Timmy's mum rescues him. The flock and Bitza are together again in the barn, for the best family Christmas dinner ever. So yeah, isn't that nice? It's also worth mentioning there's some nice easter eggs and stuff like that. Possibly more that I didn't notice, but yeah, there are these pictures in the farmer's house from the TV series of him alongside Sean and Bitza. I think as well as one from the movie where they were babies. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. If you're a fan of Ardman, you can check out my Wallace and Gromit playlist, which has plenty of videos that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Although it's only November at the minute, it's uh, starting to feel like Christmas, which is quite nice, isn't it? But if you've discovered anything else that I've missed in the display, or if you have any questions regarding it, please leave your comments down below, as it's a joy to read them. As always, any likes and especially subscribers are greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching and a merry cr I mean, I'll, I'll see you next time. <laughs>